Hi, folks, it's Ron. Ideal hand conduit benders here have been an industry standard, you know, for over 50 years. And I tell contractors that bending conduit by hand really is an art form, and it takes a little bit of practice, especially if you start trying to uh, bend around the contours of a building and work with non-standard type bends. Now, mistakes get expensive quickly, especially as the size of that conduit increases. And once the conduit is bent, you know, if it ain't right, uh, you're starting all over again so with the new piece. So to learn more about the high-end conduit benders, visit our website or contact our customer service department to find a distributor nearby you. Now, the ideal conduit bending system is actually based on Mr. Benfield's design established way back in 1955. And they're available in either aluminum heads here for lighter duty work or ductile iron heads here for heavier duty work with things like, you know, rigid conduits. And the ductile iron benders also carry a lifetime warranty. They're available in sizes for conduits that range from half inch up to one and a quarter inch EMT and up to one inch rigid or IMC conduits. The rugged steel handles offer long-term durability and the baked on blue enamel finish resists corrosion and enhances the bender's visibility so you can actually go find it in the back of that truck of yours. The ideal bender boot, sold separately, can be added to the handle of any half inch or three quarter inch bender and provides a non-skid surface that prevents the handle from slipping on the floor when bending in the air. Now each bender comes with a convenient offset bending guide on the handle and another bender guide is included on how to make all the other basic bends. The bender heads are reinforced at stress points for longer life and the raised markings are cast into the bender body on both sides for easy visibility when you're working with the bender out into the field. The deeply serrated step on the back of the bender helps prevent slippage when applying force with your foot to the bender. And the internal surface of the hook is grooved and helps prevent the conduit from slipping when bending and the flat hook provides a stable starting point. Now electricians use them to bend conduit when installing electrical circuits in a building. Apprentices are taught to make four basic bends and by using a combination of those bends they can install the conduit correctly for those electrical services. The stub bin is the most common of those bins and is used to create a single 90 degree change in the direction of the conduit. A stub up is used to predict the finished height of the conduit after that 90 degree bend. Electricians use it in many applications including feeding an electrical box on a wall that is being fed from the conduit in the floor. A back to back bin will put two 90 degree bins in the length of conduit for you. Using the bender, we can predict where to the backside of the second 90 degree bend will be. And it does not have to be a U-shaped bend in the conduit, as you may want to run from a coupling four feet over to a wall and then run down it. Using the bender to create the back-to-back -back bend, you can predict where to make a bend so the backside of the second 90 degree bend hits the wall perfectly. The offset bend is used when an obstruction requires a change in the conduit's plane. Electricians use it to route the conduit over that obstruction. Like when the floor level changes for some reason, or they encounter things like ductwork in a building and they need to route around it. The saddle bend is similar to the offset bend, but in this case the same plane is resumed. It is most often used when a pipe is encountered. Along the wall, they will need to bend the conduit so it goes over the pipe, and then bend back to the wall, and then continue along that wall. By using a combination of these four bends, an electrician can install the conduit system for the electrical wiring in that building. And electrical contractors don't bend the conduit and then cut it to the right length. When they get done bending that conduit, it is the correct length and shape for that installation. And for instance, if they need a 14-inch stub, uh, when they get done bending the conduit, the stub is actually 14 inches tall. And if you're an electrical contractor, learning how to use a conduit bender is kind of important as most commercial jobs are going to require it of you. Now, once you become good at it, you can save yourself a lot of time and effort when installing those electrical services, and not to mention your value on that job site has just gone up as well. So contact our customer service department or visit our website to learn more about the hand conduit benders from Ideal Industries. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.